أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما أسوأ أن كبرهم بتاكن يمي أستاذ جيج كورا حفظه الله دو بلور كرافة أستاذ بشير أم كرم تباكو كينيور أبلور يدار ما علم كافر من سطا أدا بلور نفنا يا فنا أسوأ أن براسا كملا مول لبنك كم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على من أفضل من عطى الصدق وأفضل من سن صلى الله عليه وسلم وتنك الله سبحانه وتعالى after thanking Allah سبحانه وتعالى we send peace and salutation to the messenger of Allah سبحانه وتعالى we are privileged today to be the presence of a great people in the sight of Allah, in loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We like to remind ourselves the position we are in today and the place we are in, it is not a playground, neither a playground for somebody like me in the presence of a, our great scholars. Nonetheless, it's a task which have been given to us. We have to deliver the tax which has been given to us. For the start, this is the organization which is, is inspirational. And then it's a solution-making organization. And then encouragement. These three points, there's a saying in English, either you are a part of solution or you are part of a problem. We all agree, any society, especially a Muslim society, we have so many problems. Is it that problem, we push it to the others to solve it for us, or we find inward solution for our problem? This organization, which is the Karantaba, is an inspirational organization. Why is it inspirational? Because he look inwardly. Where do we solve our own problems when the others came? They can have additional. You start your problem. You find the solution to it. When the others see you are in problem, they will have additional. What they are doing, the inspirational point, somebody just mentioned, a student who is going to the school, which normally asks his father for lunch money, he will just knock this door and give something. What does that really tell us? People like us. A students will come and add this. This organization in information is being given to us. 2015, 12th of April, this organization start. But do you know what is she? Because normally it is the norm in this country. The moment they look at this organization or gatherings like this, oh, the Arabs. The Arabs have given it to them. Oh, it's from somewhere. So there comes to the situation. They say we are part of the solution, not the problem. That's why they set up something like this. This was, there's a weak and the poor among us need to be reflected and remember. They give this token. Maybe it is a token to us, but in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is even greater than the a mountain of Ohud. Because Sadaka. So in the Gambia, what these people are doing, it is, has a, so many combinations of the Gambian solution. It, ha it has a security element, of the instability of the country, the Gambians dealing with the Gambian problem. In the wider one, and the African problem, we all know we as African, what is our position to enter the world stage? We always, neither we receive help or the aid from the West. These are the solution. I will appeal to the people who set this up, all of us, let's extend these things will have what you call a brand name, have so many other things linked to Karantaba. It is important. The scholars have seen all. They have seen all. 
we need to prepare for hereafter. The difference with us and the others, they will give us a help. He has a, what you call strength attached. I will give you this, but this is what I want you to do. And then what they want us to do, that is a destruction of us. Two days ago, there was a journal was sending to me from abroad. This was a private lecture. The West normally do, the privileged people. If it is in this country, people like you are the one who will attend this lecture. You know what they are saying? They say it has never been in the interest of the West for Africa to develop. They say because the entire West life was depending in this continent for the raw material. They say it always revolved from one end to another. They say always when you hear the African economic is goes up, it goes up. He said that was just a fake. You know why? Because a particular country, which they call the developing country, when they are about to be in need of raw material, they will really see the African economics will go up. But the moment that country has got what he wants to put the infrastructures in, what he call industrialization, the African economy will go down. So they make sure Africa will remain like this. So now we as a Muslims, we have so many problems. These people after doing all this to us, they want to us to remain poor. When we are poor, we can sell our deen to these people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us in order to know exactly what these people are up to. These are the only problem, solution to our problem. It is a division of labor. Sheikh Ibrahim mentioned, he was mentioned indirectly in English, that means a division of labor. This one did this because that's what he's good at. This one will do this, this is what he's good at. When we all meet in the point, we will make sense out of our fee endeavor our dreams will come true our dreams was to successful in the sight of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh